Well, 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 looks like we got you surrounded once again. So drop your goods, sit back, relax while we take you through the universe as a Star Wars Jedi. That's right, you'll be ugly as hell. <laughs> But you'll be a Jedi nonetheless, swinging your lightsaber for dear life like a natural Luke Skywalker. Yo, we had the Battlefront games both 1 and 2, but those joints was kind of lackluster to say the least. You see what I'm saying? Star Wars had the Force Unleashed games, and you know, I mean, they, they were always pretty underwhelming, but they had potential. You see what I'm saying? You, you ran around at one point even as Darth Vader. Yeah, I get it. That was kind of cool. Well, now these guys have finally figured out that is probably the best idea to follow greats like the Soulsborne games, combat-wise, with the whole planet hop and jump off from the Mass Effect series. Yeah, I greatly appreciate that, man. I love nothing more than hopping in a spaceship and flying to a planet far, far away, only to be attacked by all kinds of strange creatures that I ain't never seen before in my life with a lightsaber, man. It's pure magic. You see what I'm saying? Now. The game is an EA game, which is sketchy off the top, right? EA isn't the greatest company that we know to be for video games. You see what I'm saying? But they aren't absolute evil. You follow me? I mean, they know how to make a game, but, you know, by this point, they sh all their games should be absolutely fire, like straight heat. You see what I'm saying? The main character that... Uh, Fallen Order has you playing as is a dude by the name of Cal. This guy is ugly. I mean, his face is absolutely ugly. Like, you could have played as a human butt and it would have been more attractive than the look on this guy's face. I'm sorry. That's just how I feel. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes you can have a good looking character and sometimes you can have a butt character. In this particular game, your character is sheer butt. You see what I'm saying? Now, he links up with his little robot buddy, BD, BD1, BDI, I don't know what he's called, right? But the little robot buddy just hops on his back and every now and then when he snaps his finger, the little robot buddy throws out a little bit, uh, you know, like a double mint gum or something like that that you could chew on and the gum gives you energy. You know how it goes when you press the up button. Now, you're busy doing missions that involve what to me is a balanced amount of puzzles and combat. I mean, I would have preferred a bit more combat. You see what I'm saying? Like, I want to have nothing but lightsaber battles left and right that joint would have been hot you see what i'm saying you're fighting with the lightsabers you're hearing the zzz, zzz. you see seeing sparks fly all over the place see that joint would have been hot right there but what they got me doing they got me chopping little creatures on two legs that look like like you know like the what like foreskin like foreskins you see what i'm saying but i mean I, I guess i don't mind the downtime when it comes down to the little puzzle aspect of the game because sometimes when I play a game like Dark Souls, I appreciate the environment, right? But, I mean, Dark Souls is like, yeah, we're going to give you a whole lot of beautiful environment, but we ain't going to let you live very long to really explore and enjoy the joint. You see what I'm saying? This game gives you like, yeah, we're going to give you an ample amount of time to walk around and look and, and check out the world that we have in the whole nine yards while you're climbing and you're swinging and you're sliding. Oh, I love the sliding sequences too, man. Although, it would have been hot if they did the sliding sequences a la Tomb Raider. You see what I'm saying? Like the, the current Tomb Raiders. When, you, when they do the slide scenes in Tomb Raider, what you wind up seeing, if you, if you slide the wrong way, you might get impaled or something like that with a pole through your chin. I love that kind of stuff. You see what I'm saying? Now, the game, this game doesn't quite do that. You're just doing a whole lot of sliding. It looks, it looks nice, but I mean, yo, man, give me a pole to the chin. You see what I'm saying? If I slide wrong, man, I want to be able to slide wrong. They should have done that. All right? Now, the graphics are pretty crisp, right? Super clean. And to me, it looks more or less like a painting, like with broad strokes. You see what I'm saying? It's not as clean as a ghost of Tsushima or nothing like that. That game is absolute sheer magic. Like on screen, it's two-dimensional magic. But I ain't doing a review on that because Stadia doesn't have Ghost of Tsushima. If it did, I would definitely drop $60 bag on that game. But I'm pretty sure Stadia ain't about to do all that. Now, I do wish more things were moving in the game. Like scenery wise like i want to see grass swaying in the wind i want to see you know like the, the the flowers um petals 
floating through the air, that would have really been nice, man. But they, they didn't give me anything like that. You could have made it look a little bit more alive. I would have even appreciated more creatures, animals, and stuff like that. You didn't give me enough of that, EA. And, I'm, and for that, I'm disappointed, man. You see what I'm saying? Make the grass move with leaves and crap like that, man. I mean, EA made you. You should have been a whole lot better. It ain't like you don't got the money to do it. You see what I'm saying? Your Star Wars game for crying out loud, man. When I go to another world, I want to feel like that joint is kind of sort of alive. You know, you know what I mean? Now, the lightsaber action in this game, part of the graphics, whatever you want to call it, right? Because, you know, we don't, we don't, I mean, I don't know what I'm doing with these review things, man, but we just trying to do what we do. Now, the lightsaber battles, it, they're kind of epic. I ain't going to front, man. Like, at least when I'm swinging a joint and parrying and stuff like that, I'm feeling all that. You see what I'm saying? Watching Cal swing that bad boy around, is as incredible as you could have imagined it to be. And they were smart enough, right, to make it so that some areas are so dark that you have to use your lightsaber as a light source to illuminate the area, man. Yo, much respect for that. I appreciate that, man. They could have they, they could have made everything bright and washed out with the bright colors and foolishness like that. But these cats knew how to do it with the dark areas, man. Salute for that. You see what I'm saying? Makes the whole area glow with the color of the lightsaber. If you got a red lightsaber, then your scene, your scene or your scenario, you know what I'm trying to say, is going to be illuminated red. If you got your joint all blue, then the whole scene will be blue. And you know how the horror movies do it. They make everything blue when something scary is about to go down. And I love me some scary games. So that's the best I could do, man, until Dead Space comes out on Stadia. Stadia, man, please bring Dead Space to Stadia, man. That joint was so hot. You see what I'm saying? Now... The worlds look different, but we're only trying to show you the first ones so you ain't sitting there like, ow, oh, ow, oh, what's with the spoilers and all this other nonsense, you see what I'm saying? Now, the game was kind of hard, so I didn't get that far anyway. Look, the sound effects, but I'm just giving this review just in case you want to get an idea of what the game is like, man, all right? Now, the sound effects work well with the visuals to the point where you feel like the sound goes along with what you're looking at on the screen. The main character, this guy is ugly. Did I say that before? I mean... His face, like, they could have given me the, like, the dude from Cyberpunk. That's a good looking guy. Give me that guy, man. You see what I'm saying? I want to play with him. You, you know what I mean? But instead, like, they give me this guy. He, he, they could have given me Bowser from the Mario games with Cal's body. The joint would have looked a lot better. You follow me? The combat is an absolute rip from the Soulsborne games, which is good. When I swing my, my weapon, I want to see the effect of it, not all some Skyrim nonsense where you're swinging and it looks like it's going through the character, like it's sliding over their body. I hate that kind of joke, man. Yo, when I when I swing, I want it, I want it to look like I hit you. You see what I'm saying? The, the battle, the combat sequences involve lots of blocking and parrying, which I like. Se Sekiro killed it with the parry you see what i'm saying you hear the cling of the of the swords the joint was hard man you see what i mean and, and, and you'll find it on the stadium yeah we're gonna do a review on that but i just can't get very far in that game man. look the parrying here kind of gives me like a batman arkham feel like if you hit that l1 at the right time you're gonna you're gonna do a, a bit of a parry but that timing has to be absolutely perfect i don't know what it is with this game it's like it's something a little bit quite off with the parry if you're gonna do parrying in a game Make sure you do the joint right. Go call somebody from, uh, what is it, Namco, Ooh, Bandai, whatever the, whatever does the the, the um, second row games, those born again. Call somebody from over there and be like, yo, how can we make our parrying absolutely tight? Because you're pouring millions of dollars into stuff like this, man. Don't F around and cut corners, man. We see that. We feel that. And it jacks up the difficulty. So, for me, the game is kind of hard. Combat-wise, it's hard. But could adjust the difficulty, which I appreciate that. Dark Souls is like, yo, this is the game. We ain't adjusting jack for nobody. If you can't play it, that's too bad for you going to sit down somewhere. You see what I'm saying? With this game, they're going to hold your hand. And, oh, man, it was hard for you. Oh, well, you know what? You can adjust the difficulty to easy if you'd like. Then we could just give you the story. I appreciate that, man. Because, you know, I'm old now. Man. I, I need my games easy. I feel like sliding through, checking out the world, and saying deuces, I'm ghost. You see what I'm saying? Your boy Cal has these force powers and he develops more abilities as the game continues to progress. So I could deal with that, right? If you feel like 
you want to do a little bit of exploring, the game will also scratch that itch for you. The, the boards in the world, they're, they're relatively elaborate. You can get a little bit lost. You see what I'm saying? And me, I, I don't know my way down the, down the street. You see what I'm saying? So when I play a game like this, I'm walking around in circles for about five hours, man. Like, I could make a game last forever because I barely know what I'm doing ever. You see what I'm saying? But I like that, man. It makes everything brand new. You see what I'm saying? The game is pretty decent. And if you're playing it on the stadium, then you know how I feel about that. You can jump from the TV to your phone to your laptop. It don't matter. You're rocking with the good version of the game. You can't go wrong, man, with this version. Should you drop a $60 bag on this game? Hell no. Dropping $60. Are you crazy? You know how long this game came out, man? Now, $40? Yeah, well, you know, you might, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about the 40. I still feel kind of iffy about that. I'll drop the 40 for you and then play the game and tell you what it's like on the stadium. You see what I'm saying? $30, yeah, you can go for $30. $20, you're stolen. You know how we do, how, how it goes. You see what I'm saying? Yo, there you have it. Star Wars, The Fallen Order. Yeah, your character's butt ugly, but the game is still kind of tight. Yo, thanks for checking us out at Under Siege Game Reviews. We're going to catch you on the flip side.